I'm fortunate that I'm surrounded by a great team of individuals. All right, talk to me. Coming to the Brigham shifted how I practice, but what it forces you to do is look at your own style of practice and question yourself. You'll hear people around here, especially Dr. Klosky, I'll steal his phrase, where he says, what we know about pain is just the current state of ignorance. And I love that statement. What I learned is that there are multiple ways in. People change in different ways. Some change by revolution, some change by evolution, some change by things they can measure, and some change by things they can feel. And one of these practitioners under this roof is part of the change director for that person. Integrative medicine really is the way so many of us would like to practice medicine because it really incorporates everything that's important to people. That's what we do differently here. And I think it's a great model for how we want to live our lives. I'm 47 years old. I want to be active. I want to keep exercising. I know that I have a practitioner that I can go to for help, but also that's teaching me how to read my own body in a way that my other doctors just couldn't. This type of center really give a patient options. A lot of people, it's an eye-open experience. Some of the ways that these therapies may work are less clear, and so the role of research is not just to prove effectiveness or to evaluate effectiveness and safety, but to elucidate or identify plausible mechanisms that add to the credibility. We have animal models and we have tissue models and cellular models where we study the effect of some of these mechanical forces on the cells at the cell biology level, also at the gene expression level, at the cell signaling level. That to me is the model of the future. Not just coexisting, but starting to communicate and talk to each other and expand our views of what is good medicine, what is healing.